Well, how would you love it if God paid specific attention to you? How would you love it if you knew how to get the attention of the divine, of the almighty, of the hosts of heaven? How to get their attention and have them lean over the balconies of heaven and will you into your promised land? How would you feel if all of heaven was cheering you on right now? Friend, I want to tell you a little story today. I want to unpack something with you. I hope that this blesses you. Come on, let's kick on into it. Hello, you good looking soul. Look at you full of dreams and hopes and the promises of a brighter tomorrow. Now I know sometimes life feels like it's pretty heavy. That's okay, it's for a season, it's not forever. You keep moving forward, keep being gentle with yourself in the process. You will get to the finish line if you don't give up. Friend, my name is Ben, a warm welcome to the Elevate channel. You'll find me here every single day encouraging you, talking with you about spirituality, manifesting your dreams, living in your best life, brain sciences, coaching, counseling, it's all here. So if you aren't subscribed, can I ask you to go and press the button? Do it now. It'll just take a second. It won't cost you anything. You haven't got to watch every video. But I would love to be connected energetically with you, friend. And if you love this sort of material, if you want to keep growing, keep doing the inner work and support the work of this channel, click the link in the video description and come join my inner circle. I'd love to make you feel welcome. Today, friend, today I want to share some stories with you. I want to speak with you about being noticed by the divine. Have you ever had seasons where you feel like you've been hidden? Like no matter what you do or say or feel or think, nothing seems to work. There's no response from the universe. Nothing changes. It's the same energy day in, day out, and it's fatiguing. Friends, I think if we're honest with ourselves, we all have moments like that. We all go through seasons where we feel like we're not noticed by the divine. How would you love to be God's favourite? How would you love to know that you are noticed by the hosts of heaven, by the universe, by the angels who are delivering your dream? Well, friend, I want to tell you, the world teaches this very wrong. The world teaches us that if you want a result, the way you get there is you use words. The words you use change the opinions and thoughts of people, and what that is is manipulation. This is why I tell you so often, friend, that the words are not the way to the dream. The feeling is the secret. The feeling, in fact, is the prayer. In the Bible, when the Lord's Prayer was being taught, and Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us. What he was saying is when you pray, it's not the words, it's the feeling. The Lord's Prayer is a structure of getting in touch with points of feeling. It's a structure. It's a framework to get feeling working. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now just think about the energy of that. The feeling, hallowed be thy name. Blessed is the name of the Almighty. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's not a request for God to get off the throne and come down to heaven and make everyone follow his will. That's a framework for a feeling. Your will is being done on earth right now, just as in heaven, right now in my life. I can feel your will. You see the Lord's Prayer. It's a framework for feeling because the feeling is the secret. It's not the words that you use. It's the feeling. And if you want to get noticed by the divine, get into the pocket with the feels. No more words. Words deceive. Words take us in the wrong direction. Words get the wrong energy going. You know, when I was a young fella, in my, I guess I was in my late teens, early 20s, I had a group of friends. There was one young man in this group of friends, and he was a lovely, lovely young guy, a couple of years younger than me, and all he wanted to be was a pastor. And what a noble cause, what a noble calling. And so he dedicated all of his time to studying and reading the Bible and, and, and all 
sorts of spiritual growth. And like, what an incredibly, and a beautiful young man. But it always struck me as odd, and I wondered where it came from, that every time I heard him pray, he would be begging God. The language he would use, I heard him pray. And he would say, God, we beg of you. We beg this, we beg that, we beg something else. Heal, my friend, I beg of you. Oh God, we beg of you. Heal, my friend, we beg you, we beg you, we beg you. The energy of all of his prayer was begging. The energy, using his words, begging, begging, begging. That is not how you get a response from God, friends. That is how you push further away from the result that you want. You create so much resistance. Think about it. The energy of begging, all that does is affirm, I do not have this thing right now and I feel like I need it. I'm empty without it and I'm invalid without it and I need it and my whole life depends on it. That energy is not going to get you anything except going around the mountain one more time. This is why it is not the words. It's the feeling. And this is why... This beautiful young man who only ever wanted to be a pastor and a minister ended up losing his faith and turning his back on the church, the scriptures, his faith in God, in everything. Turned his back on the whole lot just years down the track. And you say, how does that happen? This is a young man with a heart true who just wanted to follow and serve his gift but he got so downtrodden by not seeing the evidence and he would turn up and he would pray even more intensely, God, I beg of you, please, God, I beg of you, what have I got to do? All he had to do was get out of that energy of begging, get out of that resistance and feel his way into it. You feel with gratitude and if you feel like something's missing from your life, don't go begging for it. Be thankful you're on a journey that is unfolding into that direction. It's not, I beg of you, please, I need this, do this. It's, I'm so thankful. I don't see a way and that's where you do your best work, God. So here I am, I'm ready to go. Take these hands, take these feet. Do what you will, have your way. I'm ready to serve even in the most uncouth way. I'm thankful. See, that's how you get the attention of the divine. That's how you get spirit flowing in your direction. It's the feeling, my friend. It's not the words. Now, I hope that this has encouraged you. I hope that this has shown you a better way to move forward and how you can really connect deeply with the divine. Exercise your faith, friend. Use your feelings to carry you forward. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, won't you? And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.